Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make a mum backer. And I'm going to start, this is going to be for a garter mum. And as you can see, this is a old pizza box. I just traced them out and cut the center. You want to always cut the center. And I am going to be using different kinds of ribbons. This one has basketballs on them. And these are wired ribbons, so you want to take out the wires after you cut them. This is your usual homecoming ribbons. This is acetate, this is a honeycomb, and this is a poly satin. And I'll show you how to put, I put those together. I'll just layer them like so. They don't have to be perfect. I try to make them centered, but they don't have to be. I'm just going to use my regular stapler for this. And there you go. Now I'm going to start off with these ribbons, and I've cut this and all of these. I saved this last one to show you all. I take out, after I cut it, I push up and take the wire out like that. very easy but do not use your good scissors because you will ruin them so I use these these are banded scissors and they're you're not going to destroy those I don't know if you can buy those or not but that's what I use and then to cut the slit I just fold it like that and then angle your scissors and go like that very easy now I'm going to put it about about an inch down I guess that is and here's how I know I've got it centered. I always go like this. And I'm going to get my stapler. Just give it a couple of circles. I'm going to go to the opposite side. Make sure you've got them hanging off about the same amount. And that's pretty centered. I'm going to staple that. Now I'm going to go, so I always do like north, south, east, west, and that's not cut straight, so that's why I'm doing it like that. Now this last one. Now I'm going to do my loops. And these, you always cut these at six inches. And then these are just a little over three. You see, I'm putting it in between. And then if you want, you can go like this with your scissors and make sure you have it straight. Give it a little opposite end. Do this one and then go opposite and that one and then opposite. Make sure I've got that. Got it a little, I need to back it up a little bit. You can always go like this and make sure you've got it even. I'll go on to the side. And usually your corner, you'll make like squares and diamonds, so it's always a good way to tell. Last one. You can just do like this minimal amount, but I'm going to add one more layer here. And this is a pretty common backer, especially for me. I like to do a lot of crazy stuff with my backers, but I'm doing a pretty normal one for this one. I mean stapler in there, sorry. what that looks like. Now oh, I could add more stuff if I wanted to. I could do tubing, which I do like circles with that. Um, you could do tinsel. You could do all kinds of fun stuff with it. You could add more layers, but that's pretty basic. That's what I'm going to do with this one. Okay, thank you.